Tonight we are at Universal City Walk Orlando and we are dining at Big Fire. If you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. Here at Big Fire, they are serving up American fare, yet elevated. And they actually cook pretty much everything over an open flame and they use a variety of wood to give it some different smokiness and different flavors to the dishes in the restaurant. And our appetizer is here, so we are excited to dig in. So with dinner tonight, I decided to get a drink. I've got the white old fashioned. This is $14. It's made with Zodiac Barrel Rested Black Cherry Vodka, St. Augustine Gin, and a fig. So uh, I guess we're going straight alcohol here. I didn't even think about that. Um, this is interesting. I've never seen a drink served with a fig before. I know that it's not uh, uncommon, but I've just never had one. And um, it's pretty good. It has a nice aroma of uh, nice fruitiness, but it has some really great uh, juniper kind of floral notes whenever you take a drink from that gin. So uh, it's pretty good. I got to really milk it because it's just alcohol. To start off tonight, we have got the artichoke oven roasted dip. This is $11 and it comes with a gruyere, artichoke, spinach, kale, and it is served with grilled bread. Now, whenever it first came out, I wasn't really sure how I was gonna dip the bread in here. And I definitely did it wrong the first time because the bread seemed super crunchy on the outside. So I just literally dipped like the whole thing in there. But, it's super crunchy on the outside, but it's super soft on the inside. So it's actually really easy to kind of break it in half. And then you can either dip it or use the spoon and put the dip on your bread. This is probably some of the best artichoke dip I've had in a long time. It is so good. The kale and the spinach and the artichoke in there, it really all is just kind of like wilted and really tender. And then with the cheese in there, oh my gosh, that Gruyere. I knew it was Gruyere as soon as I tasted it because I honestly didn't even read the menu first. Oh, the flavor combinations. It's amazing. For my meal tonight, I had the fire grilled New York sirloin strip. This is also served with fire grilled heirloom carrots and crispy smashed potatoes. I also decided to get a side of the pork belly mac and cheese. My steak was cooked medium rare. I think it may have been a tiny bit overdone. However, it was still super tender and had a great flavor from that wood fire grill. Oh my gosh. It was nice and smoky, and the nice thing about it was it wasn't too smoky. You could, it just had enough of the flavor in there. And now, since this is cooked over wood fire, um, this is a charred steak. However, it was also not super charred, so it was a perfect balance of that smokiness from the fire and the char. It also had a nice seasoning on the top. It really was just salt and pepper, but I could really taste the saltiness. Like I said about everything else, it wasn't too overpowering. It was literally the perfect flavoring of this steak. Um, and like I said, it was super tender. It was really good. And I did like the smashed potatoes that were with it. This is not a mashed potato. This is actually a potato that is kind of smashed a little bit. Um, they were really good, but I mean, I was here for the mac and cheese. Um, I did like the mac and cheese. It had a nice smokiness with the pork belly. However, I just wish there was more creamy, gooey cheese on the noodles. Overall though, this was really good. So for my entree, I decided to go with the salmon, BLTA. This is bacon, lettuce, tomato, and avocado. And you might be like, whoa, a bacon or a salmon burger um, with bacon, lettuce, tomato. I've never had that before. Uh, and avocado. So uh, this also came with a smoked caper aioli. And I think flavor-wise here, it was pretty spot on. Um, it was really enjoyable. I really liked it. Uh, the salmon had, you know, that nice balance with uh, the bacon and the aioli. Now, a couple things that I would change and some things that I did not like about this at all. Uh, number one was that like there was barely any avocado at all on the sandwich. There was a very, very little bit on top, maybe like, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon, if that. Um, and then the bun seemed to be pretty old. Um, and the only reason that I say that is because typically bread, when it starts to sit out for a very long time, becomes very, very crumbly and exceptionally dry very easily. So you just pick it up and it, it's falling apart. You could see that as I tried to cut it, 
um, the bun was immediately falling apart. So to me, not very fresh, which really kind of took away from the sandwich. I ended up taking the bun off um, and only eating the contents that were inside and not eating any of the bun. The second thing we got was the signature bison burger. Uh, this is red wine aioli, caramelized onions, and a beer cheese sauce. And again, kind of disappointing. Uh, I think the the burger itself was cooked pretty well. Um, I got it done medium uh, because sometimes with a bison burger, it tends to be a little bit leaner, can be a little bit more dry. So I figured go a little bit under and it should be fine. And that was great. But I didn't get any of that beer cheese sauce on there at all. And as a matter of fact, I totally forgot about it until I just read the menu right now to tell you about it. Um, and then the same issue with the bun. Um, the bun was super dry and really crumbly and just not really good, uh, which is really disappointing because we were really, really looking forward to this place. This is a place that we've been wanting to come to for a long time. Um, and it just wasn't there. So if you're going to come, I would suggest maybe get a steak uh, like Taylor got. I tried Taylor's steak. Really, really good. Um, and I even got mac and cheese as a side for one of the burgers. Again, uh, I kind of disagree with Taylor a little bit. I think it could have used some more cheesiness, but I also found it to be very, very bland. Um, not enough of that, you know, pork belly to really balance out and add a lot of flavors. There's smokiness, but not a whole lot. So, um, desserts though, this is going to be great. If you can't hear it already and you probably can't see it, there's a nice little flame happening running underneath the camera. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire. We're doing some s'mores at the tea. All right, guys, so we just finished eating inside at Big Fire, uh, and it was really good here. It was really good. I think finishing off with that dessert, like, really made the whole meal. For it was, sure. like, kind of a dessert experience. <laughs> yeah, and, and I do say really good, even though I didn't have, like, the best experience with my food. Um, the flavors, I feel like, were still there, the, because the I did try Josh's food, too. Right. Flavor combinations were there, but they just kind of miss um, tonight. And, again, I... I try to say this as often as I can, that sometimes our experience isn't going to be the same as yours mm -hmm. and your experience isn't going to be the same as ours. So yep. um, if it's a place that you really want to try, regardless of what we say, um, I still think that you should come and try it. And, yeah. you know, this is definitely a place to try, even if all you're going to come here and do <laughs> is the s'mores. Exactly. Because they have a bar side and you can go sit at the bar, yep. order off the entire menu, whatever you want. Just go to the bar, have some drinks mm -hmm. and eat some s'mores. Yeah. I'm still like getting the s'mores off my lips. They were really good. <laughs> it and, was awesome. And that really did kind of like pick up the meal. The s'mores, which you didn't even really talk about, it comes out <laughs> on a lazy Susan. They put the fire right in the center, mm -hmm. they light it, and uh, you can do your marshmallows right there on yeah. the table. And it's really great. And there's a few different things you can choose from on your little Lazy Sue's in there. There's a few different kinds of marshmallows, actually. There's regular Jet Puff, and then they actually have two different kinds of homemade s'mores. There's regular vanilla s'mores, and then there is chocolate, and they were amazing. There was also regular chocolate pieces to put in there, and Reese cups. And it was really good. Josh was like, don't take my Reese cup. <laughs> we split them. <laughs> we did. Um, but it's basically, table side is uh, two servings. Any mm -hmm. additional servings are an additional $8. We could not finish all of it, and oh, also yeah. we were prepped by our server to use half of a graham cracker yes. uh, to make a sandwich. So, or a marshmallow. And it worked out pretty well. It was good. Yes, it was awesome. But great way to end the meal. And overall, I think it was a pretty good restaurant review. Um, I just, I wish they wouldn't have missed on those burgers. Yep. <laughs> so let us know if you have ever been to Big Fire here at Universal City Walk.